All right, so, whoo, man, that incredible episode 93 of Dragon Ball Super is now done. And now we're going to be moving on to episode 94 of Dragon Ball Super. I thought uh, 93 might have been, if not the best episode, certainly in the top five of Dragon Ball Super. It was just so jammed packed with interesting things that... I kind of think episode 94 might be a little bit of a cool down. I I can't imagine we'd get an episode on that level again. There was just too many things working for it. Uh, Seeing Kale transform for the first time. You know, Goku and Frieza's reunion, so to say. So I'm not expecting super high things from this episode. Um, Based on what we're seeing, uh, Frieza will be brought back in this episode to the Land of the Living it looks like we see Frieza being resurrected at uh, Baba's palace here. Now, at the end of the last episode, they said there was only an hour and 30 minutes until the turn of power starts. So they don't have a lot of time here. So there can't be a lot of episodes left at this point until the tournament actually begins. Now, based on, we, we see a couple of different things in this preview. Now, of course, we see Frieza is there at Baba's palace. What we also see that I think is really interesting is we do see Android 17, we see Marin, Goten, Trunks, we see a lot of different characters. We even see Master Roshi, who appears to be um, on Korin's Tower. I'm not exactly sure why he's on Korin's Tower, but he is there. Uh, So it looks like at the end of this episode... Uh, I'm guessing that the characters are actually probably going to be heading towards the turn of power. I think we're actually going to be getting towards this thing beginning, uh, which which is obviously very exciting. Now, one thing, I, I thought that the preview this week was a little shorter than it usually is. So that also leads me to believe if there might not be some big crazy event going on. Because... We do see the Universe 4 God of Destruction, Katera, doing something with the Universe 9 God of Destruction, Sidra. Now, we did see some spoilers indicating that Sidra had beef with Beerus in Universe 7 and would be trying to do something about Frieza. Now, at the end of episode 93, we saw Katera saying he had come up with the perfect plan to ensure Beerus' erasure and Universe 7 being destroyed. So it looks like Katera is the one who is going to get Sidra involved and sick him on Frieza. Now we do see a little scene where Katera is doing some sort of ability, some sort of psychic power. He's doing something that looks like he's informing Sidra of what exactly uh, like is going on with Frieza and stuff. And I thought that was really interesting. So it looks like next episode, we're probably going to have Frieza fighting against assassins who are sent to Universe 7 to take him down. Based on uh, Goku's dialogue here too, it looks like Frieza might overpower them quite easily. So Frieza could possibly have a power buff since the resurrection of F Arc. I'm not too sure, but anyway, that's what it looks like right now. Um, so that's it for the episode preview. There's not a lot to work with, which kind of surprises me. Usually they show us a lot more. So that's why, despite the fact that I think next week will probably be a cooldown episode, I'm also wondering if some big crazy thing might happen just based on how they're not showing us much, which is just so weird because, you know, Toei Anime, they were not scared to put Vegito Blue front and center. Boom! Smack dab right there. Guess who's going to be in the next episode, fuckers? Vegito Blue. Now this episode, they're showing us nothing? What could that mean? I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think, though. Is there some big crazy thing about to happen? I mean, it does almost kind of look like it, right?